Good morning, everyone, and TGI Friday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Happy Friday. We have made it to the end of the week. Of course, this morning, we're gonna take a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and the morning's biggest gainers and losers. And if you enjoy this morning's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. I also wanna say a huge thank you as last night we passed the 30,000 subscriber mark. So another really exciting milestone. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. It means the world to us. All right, jumping right into this morning's exciting stock market news. We are ending off the week with U.S. stock futures in the green. We have the Dow futures currently up 0.4%, S&P 500 futures up 0.32%, while NASDAQ futures are up 0.27%. Bitcoin is getting dangerously close to breaking the $60,000 price mark. This comes as traders are optimistic about the SEC giving the green light to the very first Bitcoin futures ETF. The approval of an ETF would give mainstream investors exposure to Bitcoin that would be a landmark for the crypto industry. The ProShares Bitcoin Strategy ETF is scheduled to debut Tuesday on the New York Stock Exchange. The one catch is that the ETF will go active unless the SEC objects to the filing, which can happen right up until midnight on Monday. Virgin Galactic stock is falling on news of more flight delays. The shares are down nearly 20% in the pre-market so far after the company announced that they will be delaying all commercial flight services until the last quarter of 2022. The company said in a release that recent material testing returned new data that requires further analysis, adding that it will not have another test flight this year. Virgin Galactic had originally planned to operate another test flight this month, but now says it will first complete an enhancement program designed to improve vehicle performance and flight rate capability. Their CEO said that the resequencing of our enhancement period underscores our safety first procedures and is the right approach for our business and our customers. Analysts currently rate their stock a hold with an average upside of 28%. The most recent rating came in yesterday with a downside of nearly 17%. Johnson & Johnson said that a newly created subsidiary that holds the tens of thousands of lawsuits related to their talc products has gone into bankruptcy. Johnson & Johnson's subsidiary, LTL Management, filed for Chapter 11 protection in Charlotte, North Carolina. Healthcare giant Johnson & Johnson itself didn't file for bankruptcy. J&J said that it would establish a $2 billion trust to pay amounts the bankruptcy court determines that the LTL subsidiary owes. LTL has been allocated royalty revenue streams of $350 million to help with potential costs. One analyst said that they believe these steps potentially position Johnson & Johnson to efficiently and equitably resolve the talc litigation supported by precedent cases using this Chapter 11 process. Their stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of nearly 18%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. This morning, we're still waiting to hear from Goldman Sachs and Charles Schwab while the after hours remains quite quiet. Yesterday, we heard from Domino's Pizza who came in with mixed results for their third quarter. They reported earnings per share of $3.24, which jumped over 30% year-over-year and did surpass analyst expectations of $3.12. Their total revenues increased 3% year-over-year to $998 million, but did miss the street's estimates of $1.03 billion. The rise was driven by an increase in global retail sales. Analysts rate their stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 14%. We also heard from Morgan Stanley, who came in with excellent results for their third quarter. Their earnings per share stood at $1.98, higher than the $1.66 reported in the year-ago quarter and beating the street's estimates of $1.60. Their net revenues grew more than 25% year-over-year to $14.8 billion, exceeding analyst expectations of $13.66 billion. Their stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside shy of 4%. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. 
Our biggest gainers this morning are led by 23 and Me. Trading under the ticker ME, they're currently up 9%. They're followed by Alcoa under AA, who's up 6.4%, and Riot Blockchain under RIOT, up 4.8%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by a stock we talked about earlier, that of course being Virgin Galactic. The space stock under SPCE is currently down nearly 19%. They're followed by Duck Creek Technologies under DCT down almost 18%, and Turquoise Hill Resources under TRQ down 13%. So that'll be everything for Friday's pre-market morning update, keeping it short and simple for this Friday morning. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Say good morning in the comments down below, guys. I always love hearing from you. Of course, have a fantastic weekend. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you back here next time.